there's a definite formula going on this season with Riverdale and it's like the episode is slow, 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 not much happens, it's slow, it's slow, it's slow, and then bam, something huge happens at the end. I don't know if they're going to use this formula for every single episode or what, but I was like, oh, I'm kind of bored, I'm kind of bored, I'm kind of bored. And then I thought to myself, okay, we just have a couple minutes left. Is something crazy going to happen? And then it did. And for a second, I thought that the guy that was shot, or, well, when we saw his face right, like, right before he was shot, but at first I thought since that girl had been talking to Reggie, I was like, was that the new Reggie? Because I was like, when I saw them in the car at the end, I was thinking, they're probably dead. And I was thinking, like, they just got this new Reggie, this new guy to play Reggie. Like, are they going to kill him off, like, that fast? So I didn't really recognize that guy. Maybe you guys did. Maybe he was in this episode and I just zoned out. But I definitely remember the girl from earlier in this episode. So this killer guy I just can't understand why they're showing his face up close so much like you can definitely see his eyes and a few people and even I thought it might be Betty's dad after last episode but after I was looking at him today I was like I don't think that's him but it's like I feel like it's going to be some kind of random dude but his connection he's being paid by someone that we know so that in itself is pretty lame to me I still think it was very cool that they killed off Grundy with the bow that um Archie got her like that was very very cool and I like that and now Archie has a gun for protection so we'll see how that goes down but I really hate the fact that we can see the killer's eyes and because we can we know like I've seen some people guess that it was like a person in high school or whatever there's like no way unless they're gonna do something super dumb and try to say like well I remember some shows I've watched and like the killer they, they use different people to um portray the killer throughout the season and then the killer is revealed and sometimes it would be like a really skinny person sometimes it would be a bigger person sometimes it'd be a taller person which is so lame like they should have the actual person in the costume so I hope they don't pull something at the end of this season where they're like it was a high school student because you can just tell by the face and the eyes this is an adult man like I'm thinking 40s 50s here um I, I I don't think for a second it's one of the people in high school so again with that being said and if it's not Betty's dad it's got to be a random person or a serpent or somebody that we don't know don't care about and that bothers me and I'm kind of like well where what what are we doing where are we going but I will give them props for making this season much darker. I mean, I know we had a murder mystery last season, but I feel like this is a much more violent season just from that past two episodes. So that is intriguing to me. I think the story is pretty draggy. Other than that, I'm just going to be completely real. I don't think they have much else to go on. I'm having trouble finding interest and all of the moments that happen before someone dies at the end of the episode. You know, like, I don't want Pops to close, and I get there's so much drama with, like, you know, Betty or Veronica's dad not telling the truth, and there's so much shadiness, and then the whole deal with Cheryl testifying to help FP, and then him getting mad, and that's all good, you know, but I, I don't know if it's just me. I know a lot of people were bored with last week's episode, and I don't want to be the person who comes on here every week and, and like, hey, I'm bored again, you know, but also want to, I do want to be the person who's honest with you guys. And I think last year, like the first few episodes were pretty entertaining. I remember really, really liking them. Actually, most of the episodes, but for me, when we got the reveal of who the killer was and everything and the finale for me, were, that was not good. So I feel like we're still on a bad path with the show where we're just taking off from where we left off. And I don't know if they have enough to work with outside of, hey, there's someone killing all these people close to Archie or attempting to kill. Um, and also when the Pussycats perform, it's kind of like, that to me is very cheesy. I enjoy having those characters and I totally get that they are a band that exists in the comic world. But when you have like a hardcore, when you're trying to be like a hard mystery show, even if it's a teen mystery show, and then you throw in like pop performances just kind of for whatever reason, I kind of get bored. There's something I meant to tell you guys from last week and I totally forgot um, that goes along with being bored. So I was watching last week's episode on the CW app because my DVR just malfunctioned and did not record it last week. And I was, so, I'm sorry to keep saying this, but I was very bored during the episode and I just got so, oh, like totally sleepy. And I didn't even realize it, but before I knew it, I was sleeping while it was still playing. So 
I, f I went to sleep and I was dreaming that I was actually still watching the episode and in my dream <laughs> the next scene like wherever I left off the next scene I saw Jughead take a box of cereal out of the cabinet in his kitchen and they like paused on it and it was frosted flakes and he smiled and I was like are you freaking kidding me because I, I swear to you this is my real dream I was like so frosted flakes is sponsoring this show this year because you guys remember all of the crap with covergirl last year which I'm hoping to god is not coming back but I just thought you would find that funny because I was like oh my god <laughs> like the product placement was literally that dumb for real with covergirl last year and they haven't had it this year but maybe it's a big enough show where we don't need that but in my dream, he was promoting, the show was promoting Frosted Flakes, and I was just like, I can't take a show seriously that does that, so I'm hoping to God that they do not do product placement again this year. But that's kind of all along the lines for me of Josie and the Pussycats, and maybe some of you guys really enjoyed the performances, but I just find them, like, hard to take serious in the realm of what this show wants to be, like a pretty serious, hard teen mystery show, but then you've got this super cheesy music that I guess they're trying to pump out on iTunes and sell or whatever so that's kind of a way of promote you know advertising within the show so yeah I mean I feel like we'll have more of that this season because we had more you know a lot of that last year and I and I totally get that that's what their deal is and that's what their deal is in the comics but at the same time I kind of wish maybe they just perform like once a season and we still had them as characters and important characters but we didn't always have to have a like a full-on performance so I don't know. I'm just got to keep it real with you guys. As far as who do I think the killer is, again, I'm thinking at this point it's a random hired by someone we know. And chances are it's another adult doing this. It's either like something with Veronica's family, maybe her mom. I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. And right now I'm finding it hard to try to care to theorize about who paid this random man. But that doesn't mean things can change. And they can make me interested and make me want to know. Um... Again, one more criticism before I let you go. When you have a teen-driven show and you consistently make the villains adults, I find that so, so lame. So if we're going down that road again this season with more adults doing the killings, paying for the killings, I mean, for goodness sake. Like, let's can we not have a, a criminal who is in the high school or from somewhere? That's all I have to say. Rant over. Of course, I'll still cover the rest of this season, but I've got to keep it real. I think that season two is going to kind of be a struggle for them. And I, I think it is for a lot of shows. And I'm hoping they step up their game because there's no guarantees. Like, hello, Scream Queens was excellent season one. And they came back with a crap season and it's gone now. So, you know, just because this show got renewed and it's really popular, they can't, you know, expect to have slow episodes every week or throw out crap or whatever. So I still have hope that it'll get better. But those are just my thoughts. I just watched it. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm covering all of Season 2 of Riverdale, and I'll be doing live chats every Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern on my channel where we can share our thoughts about the show together and theorize, etc. If you enjoy my videos on Riverdale, please subscribe. Please thumb th thumbs up this video. I hope you're having a great day, and I hope to see you at the live chat Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kelly TV. I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of the Kelly TV family. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter so you can keep up with all I'm doing.